are you guys seeing what is going on in that house Omo, biggie is trying so hard to make this housemate to wake up different outfits upon different outfits from clown outfits to this israelite i be i don't understand this type of outfit that biggie brought to them anyway guys hmm biggie gave them outfit though we don't even know what is going on if biggie wants to pair these people they should just unpair them like and i know that guys i'm just suspecting that if they unpair them and they play individual game i think a lady a girl is going to win this season because i don't i don't unless the game is just unpredicted uh, unpredictable as they term it but i don't see any guy there winning winning the season if they unpair them but i think um ladies have a um, greater opportunity of fan base to win and this is when they brought in the box fueled with this their outfit that you saw in the beginning anyway guys let me know your like today i've been so entertaining from the eviction to the book shaking of the table to this suspense and all those kind of a thing anyway what do you think about um the radicals being evicted anyway whatever you think we are wishing them all the best moving forward may they find their path may they find their dreams may their dreams come through may they explore the world and fly higher like i feel so bad for femi because femi is really apart from the whole success thing that he used to say femi is really a genuine human being he's really a good person at heart so i think his doom was um picking the wrong door which is mickey mickey is just i don't know he's out of this world and when i say out of this world he's not in a good way mickey is just out of this world in a bad way <laughs> So I'm wishing Femi and Mickey all the very best moving forward and look at the way that um the voting went. And guys, Omo, the married couple beat Wani S Handy um last week. Like hmm. Anyway, you all know now we voted for Wani X Handy and Double K last week. We went all out back to back for them. Guys, even Aces with their ship with Nelita ship with anita and nelly's fans and shippers they could not even come up a bit just 17 points percent like i'm like ah is the ship not shipping or the shippers is not awake because since their ship like nelita them they are not up for eviction you know the usual stuff is um nelita fans and shippers that is nelly and anita's fans and shippers also would join hand with aces fan base to vote them they're supposed to have the highest votes don't you think so huh they, they're supposed to i don't know what is going on i remember how we do it over here that um after the head of house i don't know how, what big is planning with all these twists or whatever but head of house still remains permanent so after the head of house and we'll see the nominations and see who is up and who is not up we'll know how to go all out next week if biggie unpairs them this night tonight we we'll know the individuals that are up and how we'll be voting for them back to back. The work is becoming more tedious because it's a different ball game now. We are voting individually and hey, it's going to be interesting though, shall <laughs> Guys, let me know all your thoughts and opinion. But guys, they are dragging Nelly back to back. This thing that Ebuka did, like Ebuka just set Nelly up for body shaming. The way they are saying uh, um, that her hips is, is not um, proportional, they didn't do the BBL very well. That question that um, Ebuka threw to Wani about Wani saying that Nelly's hip is not proportional, that is, they are not equal. They did not do her backside very well. It's just setting her up for dragging and body shaming and all that because most people don't know that she did BBL and now is in the open. Just imagine if it's uh, Messi AK that they told this thing. Omo, Wani will hear me tonight. As in, everywhere will scatter. That is why I'm saying, since they shake all the table that they shake, scattered everywhere. Nothing has changed. I'm still looking to hear conversation. Co I don't want conversation. I want confrontation. Like, buzz boost. Now, about the inappropriate, I'll be on equal hip, um shaking of the table and revelation do you know that nelly is saying that she doesn't want to have a conversation with suj that let it die 
I understand that she doesn't want to drag the thing so that it will not, you know, is national television. But when you say all these things should die, if everybody that they open their eyes, they keep saying, I don't want conver a conversation, I don't want confrontation, let it be, let it slide, let it. So, what's the need of Ebuka stressing himself to dig out question and ask direct question, not beating around the bush? If everybody decides to keep quiet, what's the essence of shaking the table? Because we all know the essence of shaking the table is for drama, is for chaos, is for Biggie's house to turn upside down. Ah, uh -uh. their mates during the past season were punching the wall, breaking the wall, spoiling Biggie's property, damn the consequences, strike disqualification. But you see, basketballs, we must get it. The high, there is no high, the only highlight we have this season is Ruthie, Ruthie. And now Ruthie is out. Biggie just removed, with custodian power, removed the entertaining pairs in the house. Ah. And Ruthie going out also made Chingwe, you know, DJ Flo, Flourish going out also made Chingwe to go back to her shell. Because Chingwe was, you know, strategizing, planning basketballs on a low key, trying to enter Nelly, trying to do things in the house. But you see now, we are just here doing family reunion. Everybody is just quiet, you know. Um, uh, um, uh, I beg, you will just not watch um, the show for for days and you will not miss anything because nothing happened anyway guys let me know the highlights of tonight's eviction uh, down the comment section let's rub minds together let's have fun over there don't forget our feeder loves you give me a thumbs up subscribe and hold on for more updates and gist or more the highlight for me this evening is all the shaking of the table and also how the housemates were hugging the radicals it, they are the ones that nominated them and i know nomination is normal but if you see the genuine expression of sorry and pity on their face you will swear if you don't know better that this housemate did not even nominate them because i don't get it even the people that nominated them are still hugging them doing their face squeezing their face as if the the most you know um their party of life left the house I don't get it. I think that maintaining energy is very important. Is very important, and I missed to even check if one ex Sandy hugged um, the radicals. I missed that part. But whatever be the case, we are still watching to see what Biggie has in store for us. The twist, the back to back, whatever. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notification for more.